All right, guys, welcome back to Ozark Mountain Garage. Thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe, help me grow this channel. That'd be awesome. Just want to give you an update with where I'm at. Uh, let me show you this stuff. Uh, it's coming along pretty good. I've got the roll cage back in in place. Got it welded out, <clears throat> the first portion of it. And uh, got, the, uh, got it all painted, primed and painted back up into place. And uh, it's time to move forward. So you'll notice the, the uh, green primer. That's uh, where I'm starting on the firewall. I've got both portions along the, the uh, roll cage between the door and the roll cage here. Got it welded to the roll cage and to the body, as well as uh, formed some metal I had left over from uh, buggies that I built, uh, buggy number one and number two. It has a 16th inch steel, a little heavier than what you'd normally use for the firewall, from what I understand, uh, but I use what I got. The price of steel is outrageous. I just bought a bunch of chrome molly so I could finish off this back half. <clears throat> Still have to build everything in the back, tie everything in back here um, to support the, the rear end and the back end and all that good stuff. But, uh, but yeah, Chrome Molly just jumped. Uh, here it is, we're at the first of 2022 in January, and uh, uh, showing you this firewall here. But Chrome Molly just jumped another three dollars and sixty cents per foot. So, with that being said. Uh, I'm definitely not rich by any means. So I'm going to use, I mean, I went ahead and sucked it up, spent another three grand on chrome molly so that I can finish out this roll cage to the best of my ability. Um, uh, but as far as steel, if I've got something I can use that's close to uh, uh, what I need for this firewall, I'm going to go ahead and use that, that 16th inch um, uh, steel. For the firewall and then I've, I've already got my engine plate uh, mid mid plate here that's uh, one eighth one eighth thick so I'll get that lined up make sure my pinion angle is set at the right angle for my motor and transmission uh, in reference to the rear end and I've had it streamlined already to find out where my center is and uh, where the offset is going to be the motor and transmission is going to be offset about 15 sixteenths almost an inch uh, <clears throat> because the rear end is offset an inch and I went ahead and set up the way it would normally get set up but yeah as you can see in the front uh, everything lined up pretty well I'm happy with the way things are going you can see I'm sealing off that firewall my goal is to run methanol so I will I I, I seal welded the uh, the firewall to the body um, there's a couple of little places that I'll use seam sealer on uh, that's real thin metal like right down here at the bottom edge uh, <clears throat> between the body and the and the frame but I'll use uh, seal weld for that uh, but yeah it's coming along good man the, I tell you what the the dash piece uh, that piece uh, definitely took me some time got my front end over here <clears throat> I modified the dash quite a bit to, uh, to make it fit once I put the steel in uh, to, for the firewall because I'm I mean, I'm really tight if you look in here I've got very little space between the the roll cage and the where the firewall is going to be and uh, So I had to make that dash over there work and uh, so I trimmed it up a little bit and uh, Just making it work man got my piece in here for the window divider <clears throat> I the other night I mean I've, I spent probably the last five or six days working on this just these one two three four pieces to fit in there <clears throat> and it's just a lot of trimming and and uh, trying to mock it up get it in place and try to get it to fit uh, climbing in and out of this car I've probably been out of, in and out of this center section probably 70 times just to fit these four pieces and try to get a, a good fit because <clears throat> I am on the on the mild steel I'm running my MIG welder and uh, uh, the 16th isn't bad to weld I mean it's it's plenty thick but the stuff I'm welding to is in this thick and so it's a lighter gauge metal and it's really better to use a, a smaller gauge wire I'm using 035 uh, wire which is a little too thick but I still burn it in hot man I want to make sure it's a good weld my goal is to run methanol so I have to make sure my firewall is sealed off because when methanol burns you can't see the flames it's a real, real pure 
fuel. <clears throat> uh, and uh, so you, you don't see the flames burning. So, you know, my goal is to try to be as safe as possible. This, this top edge up here, I'm gonna actually plate this in, uh, run a plate across there and seal that off real well uh, once the dash is in, just to help with that. But, uh, but yeah, it's coming along, man. I'm excited about it. First of January here. You know, I really enjoyed uh, spending uh, my Christmas holiday working on this thing and getting everything back up and into position. You know, getting the roll cage welded back into the frame. Got it permanently welded from here on out. Everything's going to be welded out in place. And it should be a really cool, cool build. Uh, nice hot rod. I've got some ideas on the front end <clears throat> how to make it detachable. Uh, I want to make a uh, put this whole front section. This whole front section along with the hood, it's all going to be bolted together, maybe in, uh, tack welded in places, and it's going to be a one-piece front end that's removable uh, to the frame. So that should be pretty cool. I did have the seats kind of put up in position to make sure the roll cage and the halo and all that's going to fit. Um, and it's uh, everything lines up pretty well. It's going to be a tight fit. You know, being in a 1940 and I'm building off a s10 frame or at least six foot of that s10 frame and uh that center piece is just temporary brace there that's going to come out but uh yeah looking forward to working the next step is to finish off that firewall i've got to get the motor and transmission i've got my motor and a couple of transmissions back there lm7 motor basically an ls motor um, got to get that bolted together and put in place and get my angles all set up just right for the rear end but anyway i hope you liked the video uh again please like and subscribe share with your friends whatever and uh yeah should be a cool build i'm enjoying it and uh hope you guys had a good christmas and a happy new year and uh we'll bring you more as we do more thanks for watching